Did you guys see the lyrics in that last video on that Hey Mickey song? It says that, uh, please don't leave me in this jam, Mickey. Because uh, she says, the further we go, a little more she'll show. Dude, do you guys understand is that that song was made in the 1980s? And it's talking about my meltdown yesterday. I came out here to try to catch the sun before it goes into this nastiness up here. But I got to get some sun as much as I can because I need to stay ahead of myself. Uh, I'm starting to get to the point to where my issues, my trust issues are spilling over into the only ones that care about me. And uh, the whole time I was freaking out, I was noticing his face in my in my in my consciousness. He was shocked like like the Ghostbusters. <laughs> he was like, what you going to do now? Shit. Like I grabbed the camera and I noticed that. And uh, and it made me realize that uh, maybe I was totally fucking off, man. Because they showed me something, and maybe I wasn't ready to see it. But they showed it to me anyways because I was already depressed at that point anyways. So they was like, uh, no, nah, you don't need to feel that way. And I was just like, what does this mean? And then it just didn't, it didn't register. But uh, if you guys really give it some thought, and I did too last night. I really thought about it. If she wanted me dead... I would be dead already. Think about it. The only somebody that kept me alive all this time. <laughs> what? <laughs> so when I saw this, it made me freak out. And the Hey Mickey song talks about that. I don't know if y'all saw those lyrics last night, but the shit was completely inconceivable. Like how in the fuck did she know that I was going to fucking be like, yes, yes, I'll help. No, 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 I can't do it. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, shit. What is this? No, no, no. <laughs> so uh, read the lyrics in the text body. I'm going to put it in there so you guys can see that she already knew that I was going to freak out. And uh, shit, man, she's like all that I got. And if she, if it was in her best interest to kill me anyways... She would have done it before I saw the paintbrush scene on the fucking Malnificent Mickey Mouse thing, which would only be a demonization of myself and her also. When we know that those light bodies that she shoots out are good for us and we're supposed to use those to defend ourselves. So, uh, man, I had it. I had it wrong. I'm pretty sure. And uh, I wanted y'all to see that, man. Uh, you got to understand is that. I mean, I was raised by Masons that tried to kill me my whole life. Like, these motherfuckers took seatbelts off and tried to send us flying through windshields and just to get me. Like, they literally endangered all three, of, all three of the kids just to try to get me. And then the sheriff shows up and lets them go, bro. And they're all fucking sitting there with these long faces like, how come it didn't work? This motherfucker took the seatbelt off right before we hit a fucking goddamn guarding rail. That was like this heavy metal median and the median broke up and went up in, on the side of the truck. We thought we were all going to die, man. And uh, these motherfuckers been trying to kill me, dude. <laughs> My family. So, like, I never thought I could trust anybody after finding that shit out. Cheeks told me the whole story and it came so clear. I was like, damn, they did try to kill my ass numerous times. <laughs> Fuck. It's like, I guess, are you? So... Like, when I saw what they showed me, it made me feel like, shit, I really just don't have anybody, do I? And then I see the Mickey Mouse with the paintbrush, and I'm like, fuck, that's why? It's just like, it's like this place is so fucked up. This place is just way fucked up, y'all. So I just hope that y'all can see where I'm coming from because of what I've been through. And uh, it made me really sad to feel like I couldn't trust the only one that's kept me alive this time. But if... In fact, in fact, let's think about this. If she wanted me dead, she would have never fucking let me see that Mickey Mouse shit to think that I needed to go north and try to stop her, bro. Because she would have said, fuck, this motherfucker's going to see me now. See what I'm saying? So I had to think about that, and I did. And I wish I did before I fucking lost my patience, bro. Because uh, I think that's the reason why I've been taking patience classes all this time. Because if I, I do this whole thing that she's talking about in the damn Mickey Mouse song, saying that... uh. If you say you will, then it, and sometimes it means you won't. Uh, please don't leave me in this jam, Mickey, like that. I was just like, oh, my gosh, what have I done? So I've got trust issues because I can't trust anybody. And uh, 
And even though people were coming to my comfort, it made me feel like, well, maybe they're just fucking just reptilians trying to get me to believe that I'm right about her so I can just complete the mission of just turning my back on her, right? You know, this whole time, things were coming on the radio and I blocked it out because she kept telling me like, look, man, keep yourself alive. Keep yourself alive. And then, I mean, I'm telling you, all these songs get playing back to back. And uh, she was aggressive in the radio like yo man you need to fucking chill the fuck out like uh like just when you think you've got it down you know all this different stuff like promises in the dark all these songs man uh what about love don't you want somebody to care for you you might need it someday like all that shit was playing back to back and it made me fucking start freaking out so i fucking cut the radio off and i was just like no i'm not listening to this shit I'm not listening to this shit. What the fuck? You're just tricking me again, you know? So it's, uh, like, man, like, I'm a real piece of work, man, because of everything that I've been through. Who Can anybody blame me? Nobody can really blame me for feeling like that. But, uh, if I go into this blue and I get through this, this portal thing, this is like a portal light that leads out of here into a different multiples of dimensions so of access to the fingertips, you know? And then you become, like, ultra capable, you know what I'm saying, of things. So, uh, damn, I done lost my sun gazing moment because the sun is now, like, up there. Shit, he's kind of moved on. But uh, do you understand what I'm saying, y'all? Is that, uh, oh, he's coming out again. Cool. But y'all understand what I'm saying is that I lost my whole fucking mind and she knew that it was getting ready to happen. And I was wondering why she was looking at me like that right the day before. She comes out, looks at me from the sky. And when I saw that, I could see, you know, his his hair behind her. And I'm thinking like, man, something ain't right. See what I mean? But uh, I most likely will figure it out what it is. And then when I do, I ain't going to be able to say shit. Because, uh. You got to read those Hey Mickey lyrics. <laughs> it says, nobody's going to know. When I finally take her by the hand, nobody's going to know anything about it. Nobody's going to know. You just got to read them lyrics, dude. This is going to blow your fucking hair back. And you're going to realize that she knew that I was going to freak out right now. <laughs> and you're going to be like, you got to be kidding me. This really must be that guy. You're gonna, it's going to make you freak out, man. That, uh, and, uh, a lot of people are, uh, you know, antagonizing this this uh, energy or, or this demeanor of me being against her and shit. Like, everybody is hitting me all at once. Like, yeah, you're right about her and, and all this stuff. Man, I don't know how to trust people. I had to start learning how to do that shit again. Because he told me my whole life. He was like, look, man, you've been a target your whole life, man. Motherfucker's been trying to get you to kill yourself, bro. Let me tell you about it. He said, you ready to hear about your whole life? I was like, whoa. And uh, yeah, we used to be those blue people, man. He showed me that too. So people that don't understand who we are, we were those blue avatar people. We had spots and shit all over us with light shooting out of them. It created patterns and shit. You see that? Like light shooting out of patterns of DNA activation and shit. That's who we were. And uh, there's my little palm hand, Mickey Mouse thing that he has on his glove right there in the center like towards the bottom where my shit is at so it's like uh i'm totally turning into that dude but then it's like the blue people attributes are coming out if you take a look at my foot you will see what appears to be <laughs> i want to go ahead and show you this shit because this shit is fucking unbelievable what appears to be like robotic dials one positive and one inverted next to each other and then on the other foot it's completely uh, flipped going horizontal I can't really see it that well in this light but I can feel it with my finger though maybe I can feel it out but uh I just stepped in a bunch of mud hey maybe I can feel it it's right there but the camera's not picking it up that well See? Oh, fuck. I want to show it to you. Because this shit is fucking unbelievable. I'm going to lose my balance before I'm able to show you. <laughs> See?
see it's going. There's one there. And it's vertical. That's the one bump there. Let me go ahead and show you this one again. See? It's one. <laughs> there's one sticking out and one inverted. Like on, off. You see that shit? Those are my feet grounds. DNA activation that looks robotic like a machine. Like I can turn that motherfucker on and then turn the shit off. Like what the hell? That's what they look like. The other foot, is they're not so swole. But they're going this way. <laughs> they're going vertical and this one's going this one's going vertical and another one's going horizontal. And it's an on-off switch on my foot. This shit is the most tripped out shit I've ever seen in my life, man. Like what the fuck am I? Get a little bit of that ash off my foot so y'all can see it better. Take a look at that shit. This is an inverted bump. Like up like this, but with a dip in it. Like it's off and on. Trip the fuck out. This DNA activation is popping up everywhere. Just different forms of it. All up my arms and shit. And it's blowing my damn mind. It's blowing my mind, you guys. It's like it's it's everywhere. It's like popping up all over the place. But uh, yeah, those are, that's the blue avatar people. All these patterns and stuff. So uh, I felt like as soon as I started coming at her like that, everybody has something to say. And uh, it goes way beyond like what uh, y'all are seeing on the surface. I'm talking about my inboxes were blowing up with a bunch of people like that didn't like her saying, oh, yeah, you're right about her. Fuck her. Shit like that. And I'm just like, it's like fueling it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, let's talk about what I probably saw on the Internet was probably more media that demonizes and creates it in any possible configurable chance that I might come to a conclusion or two that needed to be uh, ready just in case someone was able to convince me or if I did see something that maybe I would be convinced that uh, the only one that I have that I can trust would be completely against me. It would completely ruin the whole operation. So, uh, pretty sure that's what i saw as she, as we go she shows a little more and that's what the song's about you guys gotta see this mickey song when you see that man you're gonna be like man this is impossible like it's just gonna fucking blow your hair back like some fucking goddamn like going back to the future or something like it's just gonna because uh she called it a long time ago in the 80s so it could be inconceivable now Fucking 2021, I read the lyrics and I was just like, oh my gosh, what have I done? You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, yeah, she's been drawn that way. Everyone is is demonizing her, saying that she's just evil and shit. And she's clearly kept me alive all my life. And that's the only one that had my back when I was conceived, man, was just her. So if the only person, the only being that I have is demonized somehow, then I'll just... I'll just leave and then I'll go face her instead of trying to help children and help this whole situation, which would just be all in their favor. <sighs> so, yeah, I guess I made a mistake, but who can blame me? I don't I, I can't fucking trust anybody. I don't I don't have any I don't have any friends anywhere. Um, I believe that the people watching the YouTube channel are my friends. But uh, shit, do I really know that even? See what I mean? Everybody's been smiling in my face, and 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 when I turn around, the knife goes in. You see what I'm saying? Uh, so to speak, no, uh, you know, pun intended. You know what I mean? 